Hello and welcome back guys. In today's video, I will teach you how to make this cool calculator in few minutes. We are just going to import few modules, mess selection row, message button and this mess and install this via npmi mess.js. So we are going to create a command called calculator with this description and this timeout and stuff. So first of all, we will need the calculator buttons like all of these buttons. So just paste it. These are the buttons like this AC, this bracket and stuff like that. Now I'm going to show you the real logic and how you're supposed to really create your calculator. We are going to do const mess is equals to await integer Action dot reply and then first of all we will need to send them the component and then I'm gonna send the rows and now we will need to send them embed. I will just send the embed with the description and then I'm just gonna say results will be played here. And now I have to add the message interaction collector with which we will know when someone hits those buttons. Collector is equals to message dot create message component collector and then we are gonna provide the filter and that is going to be i user dot id is gonna equals to interaction dot user dot id. Simple thing and then we are gonna add some time and and then we will start with creating our event listener for the end event that is when the collector ends i'm just going to do this before because this thing is simple what we have to do is we just have to do message dot and then we are going to do components and in this time we are going to send an array and a new message action row and please check out this video to learn about button and then we are going to add components a new message button which says a simple thing label and it is going to be disabled and its style is going to be changed so i'm going to do collector dot on collect async interaction is equals to so now first of all we have to check what button was clicked if i dot custom id is equals to equals to result this means that the person clicked on the equal to button then what we are going to do is first of all let's create a variable called data and it is going to be a friend data is equals to math that thing we imported dot and make sure the m is small dot evaluate and then we are going to provide the data thing and but this is not good enough sometimes you can get error so we are going to do try and then we are going to add a catch and in case data is equals to and then we are going to do else if i dot custom id is going to be equals to clear in that case we are just going to do data is equals to this empty string and otherwise we are going to check if i dot custom id is equals to backspace in this case we have to remove the later text so we are going to do data is equals to data dot size 0 comma data dot length minus 2 and now comes l in that case we just have to do a simple thing data plus equals to i dot custom id but there is a small issue like we need these spaces between the multiple sign and stuff like that but we don't need spaces between the numbers so i'm gonna add a simple if check all right so first of all we are going to create a variable called lc it is going to be equal to the last character the character is just before this and then we're going to do is data plus equals to and then first of all we are checking if the current character is a number or it is equals to dot and if the last character is a number or it is equals to dot and now we just have to update the embed and everything else is done we have to do i dot update and then we have to provide first of all the embeds and then we have to provide the color it is going to be blue this time as well we have to provide the description and it is going to be equals to and in middle we are going to have the data we also have to add this property called fetch reply and we have to set it as true by the way do not forget this custom id property and now if i click on six and then if i click on nine and then if i click on multiply you can see that there is a space and now i can click on one and then i can click on this black thing it is the dot and then i can click on five and now if I equals to this thing, I'm going to get 103.5. And you can see that everything is working absolutely fine. And by the way, I missed a change. Please add dot to string here. And please tell me if you want me to make a video on something. I would love to make a video on that. If I cannot, I will let you know. Till then, bye.